regard is a beautiful place, you know, where people like the culture and all of the things. But what? A lot of people are dying by the river. What's up, guys? What's up, what's up? Okay. So, today we are going to talk about Flatbridge. Is Flatbridge haunted? Alright. So, first, before we get into the video, I'm going to play a quick clippings. And after that clippings, we are going to talk it and break down Flatbridge as to whether it is haunted or whether it is not. Stay tuned, guys. the river get dirty it get dangerous because seem like the mermaid them one blood does them time there so what we really see happen we see a lot of vehicle running off in the river and stuff and a lot of people getting killed by the river them time there so we don't know if it's a sacrifice or what are the mermaid but we see how some people come alongside by the river and sprinkle blood and them stuff there in the river and thing and we have to run them, even though a flat bridge can come and after that are seven people with the John down there. People just run out, so we don't know what I want. When they were building the road, did they do anything to um No, we never see they kill anything or run any blood. So And you think they should have done that? Yeah, they should have done that because you know that is a tradition thing from back then. And we have to follow the tradition, you know. And if you don't follow the tradition, things will go wrong and we can't give a cone. So we want something to do. Uh, this place is haunted to a fast so far where we see right now. People constantly dying back to back by the river and the guard. So the guard is a beautiful place, you know, where people like the culture and all of the things. But what? A lot of people are dying by the river. It's haunted. We need to run some blood up at the river. If I can kill one cow and make it blood run down the street and feed it up with them and spray them. So, so tell me about the um, the, the rooster who died here some years ago. You, you must well, have heard about it. I heard about them still. I was I was born during them time. But what we really hear happened. We are saying go to the river, go dive. Guys, I man, we dive and shoot fish. I man, they go up there. Him say, uh, uh, him say, him say a big fish, he shoot him and him come up with a scale and go and show a community of people. And him say, I'm happy to go back to that fish. And he did go back, but what? He never come back. Yeah, so the mermaid is real. Lots of people saw him and real. So he wants somebody to come out and do something about it. You know? Yeah. Daniel, how long have you been diving in this? Well, mm -hmm. I've been over 10 years in this river. And, and you have saved how many people you have dived up? Whole heap of people we save between Flatbridge to Bagua. Mm -hmm. Whole heap of people. Yeah. We also, the fish, the, the, the massive fish killing that I hear going the other day, I am the one that updated them and mm -hmm. called the media and mm -hmm. everything. Daniel Gale supposed to see me all over me. Mm -hmm. so, we need something to done about this river. That we kill a cow up at the, up at the dam head and make it run down the stream and see if this thing can over with. So we're there to participate whenever time anything wrong, anyone go over there, we're there to participate. But as we said, we never yet get any help. How hard we see them do it? And what? We now get the fame. The fireman, them and the government, them are getting fame, policemen and the whole of them, and them are getting fame. So the divers are not recognized? Yeah, they're not recognized. So I them think they and you really want that. And you're doing your service? Yeah. And as we say, when, 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 when you take out a man out of the river, if you don't know what you are doing, that person can join you if you don't skill enough. You understand? Because my fight is saving life. As you have a skill and have experience to take him out, and any, any man can do that. You have to brave, and as well we say, we now get no one now come round and come, 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 recognize me, and say, all right, we give thanks to your work, you know, the only thing we see them give you, I want to look at say, say, dive, a riot code, we dive, with your name, panic. Okay, guys, there you have it. 
So now let's talk. Alright, so first, before watching that video, if, if you are a Jamaican or if you know anything at all about Flatbridge, you'd know that it has no rails. And based on the pictures that you can see on, your, on the screen now, you can see that it, there's no rails on it. Right? However, it's not like there haven't been numerous attempts to put rail on Flatbridge. But as the rails go up, they wash down. Now, I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm no architect, right? But I'm saying, if back in those ancient days when we didn't have the UE, we didn't have the UTEC, we didn't have the Maritime, we had, we had no colleges, right? And those men were able to build that bridge, right? Why now, in the modern time, when we have the internet, we have the universities, we have colleges and architects, of course, contractors and such. We are not able to either build an alternate bridge or add rails to that bridge. Um, doesn't seem fishy to you guys? <laughs> uh, come on, let's start. Doesn't seem fishy? Yeah, to me it does. Um, not a fictitious, superstitious person. However, my take is that flat bridge... It's definitely a haunted place and I would agree with that man by watching the video and stuff I definitely agree and I would say it is definitely haunted now while watching the video I see where he was saying that there should be some form of sacrifice like killing a cow alright if you are from the Jamaican tradition you know that whenever construction is building like like saying you're building a new home in Jamaica one would want to like kill kill a chicken and just sprinkle it in the foundation that's what Jamaicans do they say that it's like a sacrifice just to run all evil spirits right now He's saying that you should kill a cow and let the blood run, right? Now, my say to that is that we don't know if that will fix the issue, but what if it does, right? So, um, I know more like the bigger heads, they, they, might, they might not side with him and they might, not, they might say no or whatever. However, what if it does? So kill the cow let the blood run while it runs if it fix it, it fix it if it doesn't then it doesn't but what if that was the fix and we play played a blind eye to it think about it right now he says that he's a diver he says been diving there for over 10 years wow and I, I not to stray from the point I was watching a, another video with another diver. If you that, that's in specific, this diver in specific is the one you can see swimming in the water. There was a picture on the screen with him swimming in the water, right? That specific diver. Well, we made a video when he was mentioned mentioning that they are they are they are not being recognized or there they there's no form of compensation as such, right? Now, my my input to that is that, um, seeing that they're already out there saving lives, they're already out there, they already experience with the gorge, and they already experience with diving and water and such. Why not just make it a job, and look, let's know that hey look between xyz hours to xyz hours all day every day or not say all day every day but between xyz hours you are expected to be out here and they are be they are paid a salary um let's say they want um some form of training the government can put some form of place in some form of training or such because at the end of the day facilities like this is really needed it's vital because day by day accident happens at the flood bridge day by day persons die so i think i'm I, my suggestion i'm not sure if this will reach to the pmr whoever is in charge of making such decision but it's a really good idea and they could consider make it making it a job for them and you know that they're there out there in case anything happens they are they could run to the rescue because at the end of the day they're there doing it for free i'm assuming 
and if you should make it make a compensation for them it could be one you could you one you'd be providing job for a man two uh, help would be needed for anyone in the future uh, sorry help would be there for anyone in the future who might fall off in the flat bridge so in essence you'd have to use one stone and kill two birds consider it leaders however not gonna draw this video out too much thanks for watching guys and like share and subscribe and see you in another video bye guys